hireling shepherds. Hirelings. You know the hireling is hire H I R E Ling Hireling. John chapter ten verse eleven. And the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a what? Hireling. Do you see it there? Do you see the word there? Hireling? Hireling. Someone who is hired. Is that not so? For what? He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd who is not the owner of the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he is a hired hand and he's not concerned about the sheep. Amen. I want us all to determine and decide not to be hirelings. A hireling is someone who has to be paid to look after the sheep. But when you are a good shepherd and the sheep belong to you, no one has to pay you to look after the sheep. Amen. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Are you there? Amen. Very good. Amen. 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 Amen the men. Amen, Amen the ladies. I used to go to a church and they say amen the men. And the men would say amen. Amen the ladies. And the ladies would say amen. Amen the men. Amen, amen the ladies. Amen. That's it. Now, let me tell you, this church work, there is one thing that we need to get straight from the beginning. It is not something you do to get money. Amen. Amen. Do you understand my message? Amen. I'm going to give you about 10 more reasons why you should be so winner. Okay. We're going more than 110. But I'm deviating small and then we'll end tomorrow. Everything okay? Okay, everything? You all right? Good. Now, these are some careers. Hey, this work, we don't work for money. Get it right. Even when you are paid, you don't work for money. So it's something you need to clean your heart off. When Judas was going to the Last Supper, his mind was on the money that he was going to get. And that changed him into a devil. Mercy. So as soon as your mind is on the money you are going to get, you are turned into a what? A devil. When you are paid, it is even more difficult to clear your mind of that thing because you live from it. But even then, your aim should not be to get what? Money. Okay? When I started preaching, I was never given money for preaching. I mean, how and why? I never knew it. It never happened. Are you there? Yeah. So that was a good background. But that one too can go to an extreme where we were having church service and we wouldn't even take an offering. No, we didn't need any money for anything. Then when we needed to have a building, we were hot. Because we, we didn't even take, or we didn't see the use of taking offerings. And the people were not being blessed financially because they were not giving. 
So everything can go to another extreme. So there is a place, your mind must be, I do not work for money. Amen. If you are going to be in full-time ministry, it's not because your job is not working. Your salary is not enough. Or you, you want to have babies. So the church looks like a kind institution that can allow you to have all your babies. Is it true or is it not true? Like if you're working for the bank, the bank will not allow you to go off every day. You say you are breastfeeding every day. You say this every day. You say this. So let me go to the church. It's a good option. Like my wife, when she had a small children, she had an option to go and work at some law firm. And she had to work, an option to go and work at another place called X. But a place called X belonged to nobody. Nobody cares. So she decided to go to that place called X. And that place, only women work there. They know themselves. <laughs> They know why they are there. Because it is good. Every day you are late. Every day this. Every day your child is sick. Every day something. They can go and leave for nine months, seven months. The whole year's leave, maternity leave, sick leave, Christmas, Easter. Oh! But the church where I am, I mean, the local church office where we are, you can't do that easily. Because I personally, I don't like it. Because if I've employed you and for nine months you are not around, then I don't need you. And I've been able to survive for nine months without you. Then what is the use of you being around? You shouldn't have been employed in our church office. Do you get it? Or you don't get the message? Yeah. But there are some places where you don't come, they don't care. It's just flowing. Amen. Are you there? You are there? Very good. These are the characteristics of people who do shepherdoria work for money. Twelve characteristics. Do you want to know the twelve characteristics? Number one. They do not need anything, but they still want to get money for whatever they do. First Samuel chapter 2, verse 5. Turn with me. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread. There are people, when they are even full, they don't need bread. They will hire out themselves. You get it? They will say, pay me with bread, even though they are full. They don't need it to. But still, they only understand money transactions. So you may be going on visitation. You have enough money to take transport yourself. But still, you want the church to pay for your visitation. They that are full have hired themselves out. For what? For what they are already full of. And when you have the church full of people who all are asking for what they should be given, even though they don't need it, the church cannot work. And that is why it is very important for you to establish and understand the culture in the church of working, visiting, coming to church, doing the work without being given money to do it. Because as soon as we establish the church, everything you do, you are being given some money. Then the culture is that even when you are full, and you don't even need that money, 
you will still ask for that money to be given to you even though you are full. Wow. And that's why in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 5, it says, They that have full have hired themselves out for what? The same thing that they are full of. Pay me, even though I can't eat it. <laughs> Pay me, you give me bread, even though I can't eat it. Because your culture is nothing is done free. We don't have jobs, so give us money. Look, and it is it is actually because of the culture of working free of charge for the Lord that we don't give money at all. If you are a lay person, you are a lay person. You pay for everything that you do. Even when you are coming for shuffling conference, or you are coming to homecoming, or are coming for whatever, you let us pay for everything. Because we want the culture to be clear. If you are lay, you are lay. If you are full time, then you have to be paid and taken care of certain things. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's either this or that. And when you learn it, when you learn to work for God without asking for bread or anything, you will not be laid a good foundation for if one day you'll be paid by the church. All through a time, as I've been working for the church, constantly I always feel, no, I shouldn't have this. No, I shouldn't be paid. No, I shouldn't do it all the time. And I have to be very careful that that one doesn't become another mistake. Because when you are not paid for certain things, it when people below you should be paid, they will not be paid sometimes because it didn't start. So how did it continue? Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. It's another error that proceeded from the ruler. Or oh, you don't know what I'm saying. Because you don't need it, you assume that everybody doesn't need it. Meanwhile, they need it. So ladies and gentlemen, highlands, they are dangerous people. Hey! Number two, they build the church and do the work of preaching, teaching, visiting, interacting, and they do it always expecting money. They do the work, they build, build, the word is build, circle the word, build the church. Come with me to 2 Chronicles chapter 24. Verse 12. Quickly, quickly, 2 Chronicles 24, 12. You are trying to go now and sleep and come. At when? What time? A.M. What time? A.M. <laughs> you, you, you see, you don't know which AM it is, and you are shouting AM. <laughs> Forgive. Any AM can be mentioned. The AM starts from one. In verse 12, they hired masons and carpenters to do what? To repair the house of the Lord. Repairing the house of the Lord speaks of building the church. Is it not true? Is it not true? So to build the church, what, what are the things that I used to build the church? Preaching, teaching, visiting, interacting, talking to people, praying, and eh? you have to hire the people. You have to pay them to preach. You have to pay them to pray. Hey! Ten rams an hour. Is it too small? Twenty rams an hour, thirty rams an hour, hundred rams an hour. For prayer. For good. 
Number three, they do jobs in church like playing instruments, singing, everything that has to do with building a church. You have to pay them. Hey, who is punishing? Ah, maybe. Go and bring somebody. Who was here? You have run away. You want to continue? Can we continue punishing? Look at how she has arranged it. She's building a dynamic church. She's arranged her members. It is amazing. Are you there? Or you've gone home? And hired such as wrought iron and brass to mend the house of the Lord. Hmm? Do we have to pay you to play instruments? Don't say at all. There are many churches that they use them, they pay. Or oh, you don't know that? Huh? What, what type of Christianity is that? God gives you the ability to say. God give you ability, you are charging God. You are the singing I'm coming to say is very can, can you afford it, God? Jehovah, can you afford my services? Hmm? Lord, can you afford my services? You see, as soon as you come with that mind, think about it, 12 disciples. Oh. Can I have 12 disciples? 12 disciples. Come, and I need one of you is going to be Judas. So, so. Okay. If you know me, Lord. Are you 12? No. One, two, three. Spread out 12. Who which of you is going to be Judas? Yes. You. Are you the one who wanted to go to heaven without uh, uh, America without the arms? Now you are 12 disciples and you are praying to God about your ministry, isn't it? In the garden of Gethsemane, isn't it? And you are going for the last supper. So everybody close your eyes and bend your head down. Close your eyes and pray. Look at these 12 disciples, they are all praying. This is Peter in the red, James, John, Thomas, Matthew, uh, what? Bartholomew, Andrew, huh? James, Philip, Luke. This one is Judas. This one is what? John. Another John. So this one is Judas. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Now look at these 12 men all praying with hopes for doing well. Don't lift up your head. Don't lift up. But this one, he said, this one, his mind is on the money that he's going to get. Thirty pieces of silver. Thirty thousand men. As they are praying for their mission, his mind is on the money. And that is the only thing that differentiates him from there. None of them had any financial gains for that weekend, that Friday weekend. But this one was thinking about it. And that made him into what? That made him into what? So that's why I want to say that when it comes to Jesus or anything to do with God, take that thing out of your mind that I'm doing something to get money. As soon as money is in your mind, I'm telling you, the work changes. It changes. You see, this one is okay. But this one, 
step out. And it's small too, but the mind. All these guys are free of evil spirits. Oh. But this one is not free. Because he's thinking about what? Because he's thinking about what? Money. He's thinking about what? Money. Yeah. How he's going to benefit. So watch out for instrument playing, singing, building the church, prayer, visitation. I'm going to Bible school. They should pay me to go to the Bible school. I'm going to Bible school. They should pay me. They should do it. They should do it. They should do this. Hey, we beg. We beg. We cannot pay you. Think about God. Amen. And let that be your mind. A howling and a shepherd. They are differentiated by only one thing, and that is money. But they all do similar jobs. Shepherdorial, they are shepherd like people. They do shepherding work. But one does it for money, and one does it not for money. That's the differentiation in ministry money or no money. Amen. So, brother, I need Bella come and remove from his heart the desire for money. And then, when he's removed it, take that's it, that's a desire for money. Come and remove it. Take it out. Cast it out and pray over his heart. Pray, pray over his heart. Jesus. Okay, now push him back into place. Now we have taken that thing out of his heart. He's now back to normal. He's become one of the normal uh, disciples because that money thing has gone away from his spirit. <laughs> what do you think? Do you understand? What, what is the work of a hireling? Preaching, sheep, looking after the sheep, helping. What is the work of a shepherd? Preaching, looking at the sheep, praying. The same thing. What's the difference? One gets money for it, one doesn't. There's no money in that equation. How many are ready to do something for God? No money. No money. Very good. God bless you. Clap for the 12 disciples. <laughs> Number four. Because they work for money, hirelings. They can be hired for any foolish cause. And they can leave you for any foolish reason. And follow a useless pursuit. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. It's a good example of what? Of following a useless pursuit for money. Now notice, when the children of Ammon saw that they stank before David... The children of Ammon sent and hired the Syrians of Beth Rehob and the Syrians of Zobah, 3,000 footmen, and of King Maka, 1,000 men, and of Ish Tob, 12,000 men. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. You want to know the point? Because they fight for money, they can be hired, because they work for money, they can be hired for any other thing that has money in it. Once there is money, whatever the job is, we can do. Including stupidity. <laughs> now, if grace is sung for money, it means that devils could employ her to sing. Do you know that Michael Jackson and all these people started singing in the church? Most of the great singers, they're all church singers. They're all singers from the church. Is that not so? Yeah. But because they could be hired for money, you get it? Do you know one day I was speaking to someone who was publishing, who wanted to publish my books. You know what he told me? He said, we are at a point, we are going to tell you what to write. Yeah. He said, we will tell you what people want to read. And then you write it so that your, the books are sold. I said, what is that? What are you talking about? 
that? Do you know that some of the Christian books that I wrote in the person whose name on it is not he, he the only one who wrote it? Yeah. He has just agreed that they should use his name. Mercy. It's not the person who wrote the book at all. But because his name brings money, somebody can write the book on stars, moons, and suns. Buy, and then because that name makes everybody buy, they use the person's name on it. Which was a big issue in the Charisma magazine. They were addressing, they call it ghost writers. So once you want money, everything about your ministry, even foolish things, you can be employed. You can be employed to go and play for in a nightclub because you play for money. Jerry recently went to America, isn't it? Were they offering you money? Come and tell me what money they were offering you. He went to America just uh, last week, two weeks ago. Isn't it? Well, uh, uh, what, uh, what are they offering you? Well, um, my brother had a friend who works in the studio. He's a secular studio guy, and he was telling me that the way I play, I mean, he knows somebody who recorded a track. You know that track is a, um, like one song. He only made about $50,000 for that. You know, so in a way it was enticing. Not to me, but he was trying to entice me to. You know, I told him I wasn't interested. You know, 50000 not not an album, a track. And I, I had some things I'd done with Grace, some songs. So I was just playing in my, my brother's car, and he heard it. Yeah, so. Oh. so he just said something. And he asked me what I was doing in, in Ghana. I mean, what are you doing with this in church? What are you using this in church for? That kind of thing. Yeah, so. They ask you that what? What are you doing? What, what, what am I using? Um, like uh, the, the full time ministry. What am I doing? With, what, what's it? Why, why am I in Ghana? Why don't I want to? Come to the States. America. Yeah. <laughs> why? They wanted to know why you don't want to come to America. Yeah, why? I don't want to stay. It became a big, a big issue. It became a big issue. Yeah. And one, one of the Saturday nights, they, they went to, uh, I think, a jazz club or something. I think the guy plays there sometimes. You know. And the way you play in the jazz club? Well, they invited me to come over, but I, I didn't go. something for money. The Bible says that when the children of Ammon, you see, they did something so bad to Israel. You get it? I forget exactly what they did, but they did something so bad. But so when they saw that they stank, and they knew that Israel would attack them, they went to hire people. Who didn't even look at what they were fighting for? <laughs> because you are, you are going to fight for something which is so useless. You have done something so bad. But once there's payment, I'm ready to fight. I don't care whether it's a wise thing or a foolish thing. Once there's money in it, it's a deal. Amen? Sit down. So he, like all the other musicians, you will be invited to play at uh, hotels. Oh yeah, in the night when they are smoking and drinking, then you have to go and sit down and play. <laughs> Christian jazz. <laughs> and when people are drinking, then you'll be playing. Ah. We'll be giving them his 
in South Africa, Yogi Joe and his team came for a church growth conference. And this man was one of the pastors at a particular church. So he was the assistant pastor. So when they came, one minister, a big minister, he came and we were hosting them in the church. He came to see him and asked, how much? Are they offering you? Are they, do they give you to be the associate pastor of this church? <laughs> and the guy said, I will double it. I will give you whatever to be a, yeah, to come and go to start a church in this same town. Can you believe that the guy followed him? Yeah. To start, and it caused a big problem. Because it's like we have come to visit the church and You've come to apply to the assistant pastor. How much did you offer? 4,000 rands. I'll make it 8,000 at my place. Yeah. And you go. Any area you can be paid. Any foolish idea. They will say, do you like this money? They can give you money and you sleep. You sleep with them. Huh? Young ladies, some of you are prostitutes, but you don't use the word prostitute. <laughs> because if domesticated prostitutes, if, if somebody sleeps with you, if somebody sleeps with you and he buys shoes for you after, or mobile phone, is it not, are you not a prostitute? Not. You are not. What is a prostitute? Sex and money yeah. and payment. Yeah. And when you get married, you take that same spirit there. When your husband is coming, you say, how much do, how much do you offer? And you, you think I'm joking. I think my things, all of them, are, it's a true story that I've mixed it. No one has been had to pay 500,000 in order to sleep with his wife. 500,000 CDs. It's about, about, how much was it? 700,000. No, 500,000. $50. And if it's any extra style, it's more than 50. money for a, and to betray your pastor even. I'm telling you. So as I said that you should be the type of person and one of the type of people I don't like at all are people who think everything depends on money. I mean look you get love not by money. You don't pay. So you must have a car, you must have a place. When I was wearing my wife I had nothing. Nothing. When Adam was going to marry Eve, what did Adam have? He just had a job. He has been asked to name the animals. You are looking at the man to see what he has. You get it? So decide I will never be a what? A higher lane. 
Tell your neighbor, you like money too much. You like money too much. Don't bring that spirit to the church. Tell the person, don't bring that spirit to the church. Number five. When a hireling meets an, another person, he always has the mind that the other person is also a hireling. <laughs> hirelings always expect that others are also what? Hirelings. We can write it in that way. Hirelings always think that other ministers are hirelings. Look at the girl. She's also brought a new design. She's polishing. Each one is shining. This is about the sixth polish. <laughs> Amen. People can't believe that you are not doing it for money. They can't believe because they've not seen it before. They themselves. That is why the best person to catch a thief is another thief because they know themselves. <laughs> they know the rules. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we often can't believe. One pastor came to preach in one of our churches in, in Switzerland. He was surprised that none of the pastors here are paid, even one franc. Not, not a dime. They travel, they do everything. It's all a sacrificial job. So he said this can never happen in where he came from. I don't want to say where he came from. So I don't give a bad impression. Number six, hirelings are useless to God. Judges chapter 9, verse 4. Mm. Wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons which followed him. And, and uh, 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 a hireling is vain. You see, Abimelech can only hire somebody with two characteristics. Characteristic number one is what? Vain. And characteristic number two is what? Light. It's when you are vain and light that they can hire you. Did you get it? Do you get it? Vain and light. Judges chapter 9, verse 4. Read it, everybody. Wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons which followed him. Amen. Let's all say it together. Wherewith Abimelech hired vain and light persons which followed him. Him. Amen. What is vain? Useless. So you can write by useless. So a hiring is useless to God. Because he's just there for the money. Number seven. Hirelings are spiritually not deep. They are light. The same verse. It says that Abimelech hired light. What does it say? Reckless riffraffs. But the King James says, light. They are light. When you can be pushed around for money, what are you? Light. When they can sleep with you for money, what are you? Light. When they can hire your services for money, what are you? Light. When money is what tells you what to do, what are you? Light. So it is light and vain persons that collect money from the church to do what a lay person can do. One day we had a crusade, and we joined with another church to have that crusade many years ago. Not healing Jesus crusade, it's a mother crusade. When we finished, we collected that food, we were going home. And the pastor of the other church said, no, 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 no. I said, what is it? He said, you have to pay the people who are doing the sound, the sound control. I said, what? He said, you have to pay them. You have to pay some instrumentalists. 
I said, why? He said, oh, in my church, we, we pay all of them. Those who come to connect the sound and fix it, you have to pay them. I said, in my church, we don't pay such people. Are you people paid, by the way? Yeah. If you were paid, what would you be? Number one, what? Vain and what? Light. Mm. Ask your neighbor, are you vain or light? <laughs> Abimelech hired what? Vain and light persons. Mercy. Are you understanding what a leap a, a, a hireling is? A hireling is what? Vain and light. Then I went to another church. Can you believe that the choristers are paid to come for rehearsals on Saturdays? I mean, you need to be given money. What type of choristers are these? Vain and light. A Christian chorister, they are giving you money to come. And in that church, you can you understand why they don't have money. And the whole church is full of, this one is paid for this, this one is paid for that, paid to play instrument, paid to collect the sound, paid for this, paid for choristers to come, paid for the key musical people to come. <laughs> that means the whole church is full of vain and light persons. And when I go to some church and I talk about these things, they feel I'm very hard. Am I very hard? Tenderly, come and sing for me, my sister. Tenderly. Just light. I have to pay you to sing. Pay you for this. Pay you for everything. You are very light. Amen. Amen. Just because you know how to do something and you tell somebody and you help somebody. There are so many things that I do. I don't charge. Sometimes somebody's building his house, I go and I help them how to build the house. Because I have a lot of experience in building houses. I don't charge architectural fees. I don't charge architectural fees. I don't charge consultation fees. So as I give people, I, I, I help them medically, so I can stand on the road or on the stairs and tell somebody something that would save his life. I don't charge consultation fees, it's 50,000. And highly, they, they expect everybody else to highly. One guy, he, he wanted me to be his, a board member. I was a board member for his company. Then he was bringing me, and I said, no. He, he thought maybe I will not, I will not do the, the help him, or I will not do whatever. And it's like he felt you could just buy, you just, you just pay. Just give, them, give, him, give him money. Just, nobody can resist money. They think everybody's like that. Vain and what? Light. Grace. Can they hire you to sing? You sure? Are you very sure? How much? Supposing Benihim came to Ghana. And then I called.
call you and I say, sing Psalm 122. Come on. I was glad. California. God has opened a door. A, a door of opportunity has opened unto me. I knew you were just a stepping stone. I was stepping on you to go higher. Hey. This is what happens. Vain and light persons. When they wave America. And they are going. America. <laughs> I know that when I'm gone, that brother is going to suffer. The one who his eyes and his legs and his arms. I know that when I'm gone, I'll pray for you before I go. So that God will protect you from persecution. Come, my dear, take your second this and hold it. Who is taking the picture? Who is the official camera? Come. Wow, look at the camera, smile. Wow. She's built a kodesh with the coins. Hey. 
PSC number seven. Polish the members, <laughs> Some people should come and challenge her. <laughs> Hold somebody's hand. Tell the person, are you vain or light? Hey, I said I was going to take an offering, isn't it? Yeah, I forgot, I forgot. Tell the person, bring your offering. Bring your offering out and let's take out your offering and let's pray. Oh, are you, are, did you bring the offering I asked you to bring? Lift it up, let's pray. Father, thank you as we give this offering in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Ashes, receive the offering. You may, you may be seated.
praise. Bless them, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Okay, 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 okay. Hey! This my people, hmm. I'm always praying that they will not be vain and light persons. That's why sometimes I practice singing myself. So that should be in case of emergency, I can also do my best. 